Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about compound inequalities. Those are mathematical sentences that contain more than one inequality symbol in them, connected by the words and or or, usually. When you see the word and, I want you to think of overlapping regions or overlapping colors. When you see the word or, I want you to think of the presence of shading. I'm going to show you a few examples and hopefully those ideas will become more clear to you. In example one we have the compound inequality x is less than 3 and x is greater than or equal to 0. Let's start by focusing on the left hand side. x is less than 3. So what I'm going to do is put 3 on the number line. I'm going to use an open circle to be exclusive and then less than implies shading to the left. The second part of the inequality is x is greater than or equal to zero. In this case, I'm going to use a closed circle to be inclusive, and greater means shade to the right. Because these two inequalities are joined by the word and, I'm going to look, of, look for overlapping regions. The question I'm going to ask myself is, is there a place where blue is overlapping with red? And the answer is yes. It starts here at zero, and it ends at three. To describe this solution set with interval notation, I'm going to say bracket 0, comma, 3, parentheses. In example 2, we have the compound inequality x is less than or equal to negative 1, or x is greater than 1. Focusing on the left-hand side first, I have x is less than or equal to negative 1. So I'm going to put negative 1 on the number line. I'm going to make the circle closed to be inclusive, and less than or equal to means shade to the left. The second part of the compound inequality is x is greater than 1. Now I'm going to put 1 on the number line, be exclusive because there's no equal sign, and greater would imply shading to the right. Because we're using the connector or, I'm looking for the presence of any shading. There's shading to the left where it's red, there's shading to the right where it's blue, but there's no shading right in the middle. So it's going to take two sets of interval notation to get all the solutions that we need. Negative infinity to negative 1 union 1 to infinity. Remember, whether it's infinity or negative infinity, you always use a parenthesis. In example 3, you might notice something right off the bat that's different from the first two examples. And that is, this compound inequality does not have the word and or or used in it. Well, this is really an and problem in disguise. I'm going to show you how to get it. We're going to take this compound inequality and split it up into two sentences. 4 is less than or equal to x and x is less than or equal to 6. Now. A teaching tip. Whenever I have an inequality where the variable is on the right, I always like to switch it so the variable is on the left. I found in my many years of teaching that students get confused if they leave it on the right. So let's take the x and the 4 and reverse their positions and think of the inequality like an alligator's mouth eating the x. We want to be consistent with that so we'll switch the direction of the sign for the second presentation of the inequality. So, I've got x is greater than or equal to 4. So I'm going to put 4 here. I'm going to make it a closed circle to be inclusive. And it's greater than, which means I'm going to go to the right. The second inequality is x is less than or equal to 6. So I'm going to put 6 in the number line. I'm going to make this one inclusive as well. And I'm going to shade this time to the left because it's less than. Because of the connector and, I'm going to look for overlapping regions. Is there any place where the blue and the red overlap? And the answer is yes, starting at 4 and ending at 6. We can describe this with interval notation as bracket 4, comma, 6, bracket. Now, number 4 is actually not a compound inequality, but I put it here just to stress the teaching tip used in example 3. And that is, when the variable is on the left, or I'm sorry, when the variable is on the right, it's in your best interest to make the maneuver to switch it around. So I'm going to take the x and the 5 
and swap their positions and thinking of the inequality like an alligator's mouth eating the five, I'm going to make that consistent in my second presentation. So I'm going to put five on the number line and say X is less than five. Open circle and shade to the left. We can describe this solution set with inter interval notation in the following way. Negative infinity, comma, five. The last two examples look very, very similar, except in one the connector is or, and in number six the connector is and. Let's see how that makes a difference, if at all. Number five, x is less than zero. There's zero on the number line. X is less than zero. I shade to the left. For the second inequality, x is greater than zero. Open circle, shade to the right. Because of the connector or, I look for the presence of any shading. There's shading to the left with the red. There's shading to the right with the blue. However, right here, there's nothing going on. Zero is never part of the solution. So basically, it's any answer except for zero. To write this with interval notation, we say negative infinity to zero union zero to infinity. And finally, number six, x is less than zero and x is greater than zero. Starting with x is less than zero. Open circle, shade to the left. Now we'll look at the second part, x is greater than zero. Open circle, shade to the right. Because the connector is and, we're going to look for any sort of overlapping region. Or we ask ourselves, is there a place where the blue and the red overlap? Well, in this case, the answer is no. There's no place where the red and blue overlap. There's not one value of x that is less than zero and at the same time greater than zero. So we say no solution. You could write out the two words no solution or you could use this symbol. I hope you have a better understanding of compound inequalities.